one based on the feedback I've received. As long as our country needs a defense, as long as a defense includes ships, I want those ships built in Bath, because Bath built is best built. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions from the committee? Representative Grant. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Representative DeChant, for um, already coming in here armed with the knowledge uh, of the Government Oversight Committee's process of reviewing the tax expenditures and, um, and, and your thoughtful approach to this. It's very much appreciated. Um, it's pretty clear that this bill was, this exemption was crafted specifically for one company and one company only in the state of Maine, and that was BIW, um, though it isn't stated explicitly in that. Um, Given that the state is also trying to grow um, other areas of our niche shipbuilding, whether it's craft building composites, um, you know, the, the shipyards in Belfast and, 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 and uh, um, Brooklyn and places where that's an important part of the economy, um, is there, has there been any thought to expanding this in such a way that other shipbuilding companies in Maine could... Um, could qualify, or would that just be muddying the waters too much? Just, just I wondered if you'd already given that some thought. Yes, I have, Representative Grant. Thank you for the question. Um, my purpose for this is um, for keeping the level of employment as high as possible. <coughs> and so the, the benchmark is 5,000. So understandably, the, the um, shipbuilding entities that you just mentioned are nowhere near that. And I would think that there are other um, tax incentives or business incentives or other programs that could help foster and grow those shipyards. But as far as this bill, I um, really, the, the objective is to keep the employment as high as possible. Any other questions? Seeing none, thank you, Representative. Thank you. Uh, further testimony by co-sponsors. Welcome, Senator Vitale, the Committee on Taxation. Being and members of the Joint Standing Committee on Taxation. My name is Eloise Vitelli, and I represent Senate District 23, which includes all of Sagadoc County and the town of Dresden in Lincoln County. I'm here to testify as a co-sponsor for LD 1781, an act to encourage new major investments in shipbuilding facilities and the preservation of jobs. I understand, and we've just heard from Representative DeChant, that there is going to be an amendment coming on this bill that might change the contents of the final product. And I want to commend Representative DeChant for working so hard to bring that to you as part of the work session. There is no doubt that Bath Iron Works is an integral part of the economy in Maine and the Midcoast in particular. As you've heard, BIW employs over 5,700 people in Maine, and in Sagadoc County alone, nearly 1,700 people depend on good wages and benefits for their livelihood. The requested shipbuilding credit before us is a recognition of BIW's value to Maine and the community of Bath, as many other areas of the state struggle to maintain good manufacturing jobs. It is essential that we ensure that BIW is given a fair shot at being a competitive employer so that current jobs are maintained, facility upgrades are made, and that skilled workers have opportunities right here in Maine. Given that their investment of more than 500 million since 1996 has vastly outpaced the 200 million investment needed to trigger the previous shipbuilding credit, I believe this request deserves full consideration. Thank you for your time, and I look forward to the discussion that this bring, bill will bring. Good afternoon, Senator Dow, Representative Tippin, and members of the Joint Standing Committee on Taxation. My name is Jeffrey Pierce. I represent House District 53, which includes Arouset, Dresden, Georgetown, Phippsburg, parts of Richmond, and all of Woolwich. I'm here today, Bob, to support LD 1781, an act to encourage new major investment in shipbuilding facilities and preservation of jobs. When I first heard about this bill, I knew it was something that I needed to support. Not only is BIW, or Bath Ironworks, the number one employer in my district, it is one of the biggest employers in the state of Maine. For as long as I remember, Maine has been proud supporters of shipbuilding. And I believe that the work BIW does should be considered a great asset to the state of Maine. BIW's major competitor is Huntington Ingalls in Mississippi. The state legislator in Mississippi has been constantly allocating money to Huntington Ingalls in which they reinvest into their company and allow them to compete 
and with companies like BIW by underbidding on projects to get to work. All the while, the company pays zero in property tax. Huntington Ingalls leases the land from Passamagoula Shipyard and from the state and exempt from property tax. And just to add a note, Avondale Shipyard in Louisiana, who once employed 5,000 people plus, is shuttered. The state of Louisiana chose to do nothing for them. And now, if you read in the news, you'll see that Louisiana is offered extreme amounts of tax credits and tax investment to anybody who will open up the Avondale shipyard. Even with all this going on with other competitors in the South, BIW has shown that it's resiliency. They have been able to compete based on the fact that their workforce is the best in the world. And their management team has been able to keep them competitive in a game that's been rigged against them. As a legislator, I feel that it's my duty to protect not only the people of my district, but the people of the state of Maine from losing their jobs. Already, uh, an already valuable business, even losing our skilled workforces to other states, it's time to reinvest in BIW because they have been uh, proven to be successful without, with, uh, and without little help, they could end up losing their business to out-of-state competitors. I'm sure many of you are thinking that this only affects the few areas in Maine. Bath Ironwork employs approximately 6,000 people, plus or minus, depending on the project, drawn from all 16 counties in Maine. There's people who come down from Rumford. Um, we, can't com uh, we can't compete with what Mississippi does for Ingalls, but considering how little we do for BIW compared to their main com competitor, I don't think this bill is too much to ask. At this time, the time has come that we must take, make sure that we take action on this bill and keep Maine competitive with the rest of the country. It is important to remember that capital goes where it is welcome and stays where it is appreciated. Let's show BIW that we appreciate them and their workforce. Thank you for your time and considerations. I'd be happy to answer any of your questions. Any questions from the committee? Seeing none, thank you for your testimony.